Hi, I'm Jason Garber doing a review of the Sennheiser 350BT headphones for the Best Buy blog. For those of you that are in the market for some Bluetooth headphones, you have many choices. You can obviously get in-ear, get bone conduction, you get these weird things that sort of fit over your ear and aren't quite bone conduction. It gets very confusing. The sort of old school way of doing it is the circumoral headphone or basically over the ear where the uh, ear pads of the headphones sort of uh, um, form like earmuffs. Um, I actually prefer this kind of style. These are the headphones that I've uh, used for many years um, for lots of purposes. I do have a set of in-ear monitors. I have many headphones for different purposes, but sometimes when you just want something that really works really well, that doesn't have to um, uh, be such a problem to set up, these are very good ones to go with. Now, the Sennheiser uh, 350BTs um, are extremely comfortable. They have nice, big, thick pads. Um, the right side is very easy to determine because it has all the buttons on it, obviously. Um, one of them is power. One of them is uh, track up and down. The other is volume. And the other one is uh, basically a controllable button that uh, liaises with your smartphone. Uh, you press it on an Apple, it would actually engage with Siri. On Android, it will engage with Google Assistant. Now, the 350 model does not have active noise canceling on it. The advantage of that is that the battery life obviously is fantastic. It's almost, it's rated at almost 30 hours. I got somewhere around 26, 27 before I had to actually recharge of just uh, playing it. The advantage is that it actually sounds better. Active noise cancelling sometimes changes the sound in a way which I don't really find particularly pleasing. So as they just sort of do passive noise cancelling, they work like earmuffs that you can't actually hear much on the outside by being sort of hard plastic on the outside and some insulated material that traps, um, the, it makes the music work to your ears and, and sort of attenuates outside noise quite fantastically well. In terms of their sound, I think they are excellent for the range. I think you just have to be realistic about what you get for um, a headphone like this. And anywhere within the sort of uh, mid-level range um, uh, where the price point is for these headphones, I think it does a very, very good job. I'm slightly spoiled that I tend to listen to much higher end headphones, but if I just want something that works that I don't have to worry about so much because they don't cost 20 times what these ones cost, um, then I think these are absolutely a solution well worth um, uh, choosing. Now something I love about it, it has a USB-C port. Um, I'm a big fan of this port over the um, former uh, USB-B, the micro USB uh, charger that I always found very finicky. I like how robust USB-C is and it charges extremely fast. For something that lasts, again, 30 hours, you can get days out of uh, playing this. I find that it holds the charge extremely, extremely well. Very quick to charge and has quite an excellent operation. Now, some of the things that don't work as quite as well for me. They don't get as loud as some people might actually want now. Granted, I have old ears, and I'm certainly used to listening to things a little bit louder than these do. But because they are Bluetooth headphones, you're stuck with what the amplification is inside the actual units themselves. Um, at, these go as loud as they go, period. Basically, every Bluetooth headphone, of course, is a digital amplifier inside. It's taking the signal from whatever your device is, and it's doing its own digital analog conversion, and it's pumping out the sound, which means you are reliant entirely on the quality and the capability, not just of the drivers of the headphones, the, 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 um, the transducers, the speakers, as it were, that are beside your head, but the actual caliber of the, the tuning of the amplification inside and the way that the circuitry actually works. One of the big advantages of dealing with a company like Sennheiser is they have decades and decades of exceptional audio uh, capabilities. Um, some of the greatest mics in the world, some of the greatest headphones in the world are from this company. And the trickle down to that of ensuring that they're actually creating something where they concentrate more on the sound than they do maybe on the aesthetics. These aren't exactly major fashion items that are quite pragmatic in their construction. But I think they do an extraordinary job of doing what they need to do, which is provide a relatively low cost, very robust, excellent battery life, um, Bluetooth series of headphones. Now, 
One thing I would really, really have liked is for them to have included a 3.5 millimeter mini jack input. That way I could put any amplifier I want, could have any device actually driving them and use, I believe that the drivers in some ways are a little bit better than the actual Bluetooth implementation. And I would have liked the flexibility of running Bluetooth when I wanted and running sort of mini jack when I actually wanted to as well um, on multiple devices, be it my uh, personal music player, my phone with an adapter, etc. Regardless, that's not what this is for. This is for like, pick them up, make sure that they work, make sure that they're very easy to use, make sure that they're light and comfortable, and they are light and they are comfortable. The band itself on the top is quite robust with a bunch of padding here. When you put them on, again, with the right side, it works. They are not a split back the way that some of uh, Sennheiser's uh, higher models are that actually the headband sort of splits so it hugs the head with a little bit more comfort but nonetheless they do not slide around I have a pretty big head with a lot of air and they do a very decent job again as somebody who's actually used to wires it's actually quite liberating weirdly to have a bluetooth only uh, pair of cans like this um, quite enjoyable now how is the sound this is basically what you're going for if you're not getting all the fashion stuff what do you actually get uh, in terms of sound and the sound I think is a very very good again, for the range that they're actually at. Yes, there is um, certain peaky sound. Um, th the bass doesn't go nearly as low as it does on higher end headphones, of course, but you do get quite a bit of punch. Equally, the high treble is um, very clear, and very articulate. It does a good job. It never feels uh, sibilant, that sort of S-E sound. It, it feels like it's reproducing what it should be reproducing. The mids, though, are a little bit scooped out. Um, it does feel like it's, it's almost like a smiley EQ where the treble's a little bit boosted and the low end, or at least mid-low end, is a little bit boosted. Um, if you look at the specifications, which, uh, you know, have all kinds of variables uh, baked into them, it looks like it goes down to 80 hertz, which is pretty substantial. But um, really, you just need to know that when you put them on, you're not being slammed in your head with crazy bass, and, and uh, you're certainly not having this sort of high-end whistle nonsense that you get with certain uh, headphones where the trebles just crank so much. You get a fairly pleasing, um, sound because the amplifier doesn't go so hot because it doesn't blast your ears the way that um, you can again to the benefit of your ears you are getting a slightly heightened uh, on a smiley face EQ I think to make it sound better at lower volume frankly which given the fact that it's it's doing a pretty decent job of isolating the world from your ears is actually I think a good thing in other words they've tuned it for its purpose when you're walking around when you're even in a quiet room when you're using these as uh, gaming uh, headphones because uh, they actually work with uh, certain low latency modes um, I, I think they absolutely do the trick and they're the ones that I would choose to purchase I have friends that ask me what headphones should I get within this price range and I often suggest this range of the Sennheiser are the the sweet spot between something that I think is a little bit lower end and sort of dedicated to a consumer that doesn't really matter as much to them about how the thing actually sounds. They just want something that sort of works or the sort of high end nonsense that, you know, lunatics like me <laughs> tend to delve into. Um, I'd be really happy to call the uh, HT350BT my sort of uh, daily headphone when I'm not there for doing some critical monitoring or listening on higher end equipment. It does include um, APTX, it does include APTX lossless and a number of other Bluetooth uh, capabilities, which uh, would uh, the the aptX uh, lossless again allows allows people um, who are watching movies or gamers to not have that delay. Some Bluetooth headphones, when you're watching, say a, a, a de Bluetooth device, the picture is out of sync with the uh, audio, which is really frustrating. These um, tend to attenuate that and actually make everything completely synchronized. A f another frustration are the firmware updates. Now, this is not alone. Um, uh, so met many of my devices these days that synchronize with phone use use your mobile device to actually do firmware updates and uh, when I got it out of the box it said it needed one it promised a 31 minute update you wait half an hour it says take them off your head when they're not even on your head already and you you want the thing to just do an update 
and then it just fails. It's failed a couple times. It's a bit frustrating. I haven't been so worried about it because the functionality seems to be okay. What the firmware update is meant to actually address, I haven't seen an issue with, which is re-handshaking with my phone. But nonetheless, that is a super frustration. You have this USB-C cable. Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to download, say, a bin file or something like that on your computer and actually upload it directly? Unfortunately, these do not work that way. So that's, that's a bummer. Um, the, again, the model up, which has noise canceling, I would probably personally consider that model because sound wise with noise canceling off, they'll be almost identical. That one gives me a headphone jack that I can actually expand. So I might be silly and buy the more expensive model, turn off noise, uh, active noise cancellation and use it when I want with a mini jack. But again, I'm by, I'm by no means a normal consumer when it comes to this sort of stuff. So for everyday regular use, for the person who just wants a pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones and for justifiable reasons, pretty annoyed at all the in-ear options, they fall out, they have all this other nonsense. These I think are very, very good, universal, uh, excellent audio quality, comfortable headphones. You can, I've, I've had them on my head for many, many hours. I haven't got um, any of that sort of pressure point um, um, issues that some people feel. Um, it's, it's, it's durable, but it's not so um, tough on the uh, head when it's actually on. It's actually very, very comfortable, adjustable um, insofar as what you need. The buttons here I have actually uh, quite enjoyed being able to actually have physical tactile buttons. Some of them you sort of do these weird tapping stuff. I never find it works. I actually like having it at some point in time when I just want the thing to work to actually have something that I can have some sort of, you know, uh, that, that, that physical representation that I want to go track forward or track backward. So there you are. Um, I highly recommend these headphones um, for the range of which they comfortably sit. I do think that they're uh, sort of the top of that sector. Um, I'm a big, big fan of Sennheiser and I was extremely pleased to be able to listen to these. Yes, they do not compare favorably to headphones that are substantially higher in the Sennheiser line, but I think they do an extraordinary job against a direct competition. And I think that they have enough of the sort of audio spirit, the love, frankly, from the um, higher end models that have trickled down to these, that I definitely think if this is sort of set your, uh, the right budget point, if this sets the kind of uh, listening that you're doing, and frankly, just walking out in the rain with your phone, listen to podcast or whatever, they're perfect. Listen to music, they're great. If you're looking for something to be monitoring music in terms of a recording, I probably wouldn't go with Bluetooth headphones. I'd probably go with one of their other models. But for those that are looking for this exact um, type of solution, I couldn't recommend these high, higher enough. For BestBuy.ca, I'm Jason Gorber. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next video.